Welcome back guys to Jared the Journeyman. Today I'm going to show you the simple pie and ear triangle within the Ohm's Law Circle so you can remember the simple formulas and how to calculate them quickly. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, to know these formulas and to work these formulas, first we need to know what they're asking. So, you're going to have to know E, I, R, and P. E, which is voltage, or volts. I, which is current. Amperage. R, which is resistance. Or ohms. And last is wattage. Which is watts. So with these four <clears throat> excuse me, four letters, four um, identifications in the the Ohm's law wheel, we can figure out the two basic formulas that they're always asking is E equals I times R or P equals I times E. So we have that coming from here. We'll go up and we'll start building our triangle. So we'll build pi and ear. I know it's not spelt like E-A-R, it's E-I-R, but still it's an easy way to remember this, pi and ear. Go ahead and build your triangle. Build a triangle here. You may also see these in, uh, in a circle form. I'm just going to get this cleaned up a little bit for you guys. Maybe not. And there we go. So, in your in your questions or your your um, problems, if you were to ask what if you're trying to find volts, you would come over here to the pi chart, and you would cover up. I'm sorry. You would come over to the pi chart, cover up the p. This erase doo -doo 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 -doo. and then you would multiply I times E equals P now using that same triangle if they're asking if they're asking you for voltage Cover up E, and so it would be P over I equals E. And if they're looking for current or amperage, you would cover up the I, and you would have P over E equals I. So there again. Over here on the ear, if you're looking for volts, you would cover up the E on top of the, the uh, triangle, and it would be I times R equals E. If you're looking for current, go ahead and cover up the current, the I, on the, trans on the uh, triangle, and that would be E over R equals I and if you're looking for resistance or ohms go ahead and cover up the R and the triangle 
that would be E divided by I equals R. And so with this, guys, um, you will be able to memorize, or not memorize, but you already know six of the nine um, formulas within the Ohm's Law wheel. Easy to remember, pi and ear. The hardest thing to remember is what E stands for. E equals voltage. I equals current. Or amps R is resistance or ohms and P which equals wattage or watts that's all I have for you guys today uh, Keep watching. We're going to take these formulas, put them into real life uh, scenarios, and work some math out for you guys next time. But for now on, just keep working on trying to remember the EIRP, and you'll have this taken care of. Pi and ear. That's all you guys have to remember. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.